It's just dumb. It's awful. This just seems really like the complete wrong thing to do. We need to let the voters decide, uh, not the RNC, uh, who, who our nominee is. It was a resounding no from Republicans in New Hampshire over a draft resolution that started circulating within the RNC that would make Donald Trump the party's 2024 presumptive nominee after only Iowa and New Hampshire held presidential nominating contests with more than four dozen to go. We've got to let it play itself out. Um, I just think it's it's overstepping our bounds uh, to declare a presumptive nominee after only two states. RNC committee woman Juliana Bergeron says if she had to vote on the proposal, hers would be a hard no. I think it sounds more like stealing the election uh, than a resolution. And I certainly won't vote for it, and I don't think anybody here in New Hampshire is going to vote for it. I mean, why do we waste our time having these primaries if this if this can happen? Political analysts are calling it an unusually blatant move that doesn't send a good message to voters. And it says, you know, your vote really doesn't matter uh, because we elites already think uh, that Donald Trump should be the nominee based on just two contests. And Nikki Haley is still in this race on the trail in South Carolina, her home state, where Trump has led in the polls. Her campaign released a statement when the proposal surfaced, saying in part, quote, if Ronna McDaniel wants to be helpful, she can organize a debate in South Carolina, unless she's also worried that Trump can't handle being on the stage for 90 minutes with Nikki Haley. And the former president came out on Truth Social earlier tonight saying while he greatly appreciated the thought, he thinks they should do this at the ballot box, quote, the old fashioned way. In the studio, Marissa Tansino, WMUR News 9.